Hello YouTube! So this is a continuation of my last video. I decided I was going to put a hutch on, I just didn't want my video to get too long. So to make the hutch, let's go to a left view. Hey, I thought I got rid of those guys. Oh no! Sorry, little mistake from last video. I copied this down on all of them for some reason. Alright, left view. What we're going to do here is a rectangle starting at the back. Let's do that in the proper layer here. Let's go at how far, f how deep should we make it? Desk is two feet deep. Let's make the hutch about a foot deep, a little under a foot. So we'll try 300 millimeters and we'll make it about two feet tall. It's going to be kind of short, but that's okay. So we'll extrude that by 19. We'll want that to be in line here, so we need to move it over 38. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have enough space for a monitor here. So let me take a look at my monitor. My monitor is 23 inches across. How much space do we have in total? We've got about four feet. So if I do this a foot, this a foot, it'll be a tight fit in there. So maybe I'll do it, I'll do it 10 inches across. A little under 10, so 250. So if we copy 250, comma 0, that'll actually not be the space I want. I wanted an inside space. So I just have to add the thickness, 19. Takes it to 250. We'll mirror this over. You know what, we won't mirror it over yet, because I still want to add in the back here. Use the from command. At 19, comma 0. I remember that it's 250 on the inside, so I don't need to remeasure that. We'll mirror it from the center point here, so it goes exactly where I want it. Now we've got the back. Now, see there's two ways you can do this. You can either mirror it and then put in the drilling, or you can put in the drilling and then mirror it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mirror it, then worry about the drilling, because I can always mirror that over later. Obviously, we'll need a, a little top on this hutch. So how deep did I make this? I made this 300. We'll go from there, from here, at negative 319, because we'll have, as usual, control Z is undo. I always mix up my coordinates. Especially with negatives, for some reason, like, negative x seems like it should be negative or positive y, but don't mind me. Okay, add 0, comma, negative 319. 319. I'll extrude this by 19 millimeters. Do a front view. Uh, side view will be better, because it's hidden in here. So I'll want to move this up by 619. So we've got a pretty groovy looking hutch on there. Although now that I think about it, this is not how you'd want to do it. This is this is a design thing that you need to remember. You're going to be sitting here, so you actually don't want that that there. 
I'm going to do a quick design change. There's still going to be a hutch. But, go over 124. There's only going to be a hutch on the one side because you sort of need the space open. That was 124, right? Yep. So if I copy this over 124, use the union command, select both of them, now have one full back. That's a little more sensical. Now you'll sit there, your monitor will be there, you'll have your drawers to the side, and you'll have a hutch section here. I'm going to leave this back part open because obviously you'd want your wires to be able to go down there. You might have like little speakers there or something. Because that should give you more than enough room. In fact, how high are monitors usually? That's two feet of space. My monitor here is about 18 inches high, so I think what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking I could add a small shelf up here. I just don't know if it makes sense because you'd only have about three inches of space, and I honestly don't know what you would put there. So you know what? We'll leave it. What we can do here, though, is add in some shelves. So we'll go to a side view. Start from the back. All right, I did something something strange here. I don't know where my my back panel there went. Oh, it's there. I just had it on uh, I had it on solid view. Okay, wireframe view so that I know what's going on there. We'll have it start two millimeters back, 19 thickness. Um, I don't remember what the spacing is now. 374. Three seventy four. We'll mirror it there. How many shelves? Probably just two shelves. So if we take it up to 300, that'll center it. So I think what I want to do is I want to move this down by 100, copy one up by 200. Mm, the spacing will be a little bit off. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger on the bottom. So I need to eat up 19 millimeters. There's math that I could use to do this. I just don't know if I want to break up my calculator. Let's just move this down 10. Now, let's move both of these down by 5, and this one down by 5. You know what? It's not perfect. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit closer. We'll move both of those down by 1, the bottom one down by one, and I think that's as close as I can get it without going to strange fractions. Yeah, one millimeter different. I, I don't care about that. So now we've got some shelves in there. And you could basically, like, you could fit in letter-sized paper or whatever. I think you could actually even fit in legal size. Yeah, because it's 14 inches. 
Now since I did the drilling for the rest, let's do the drilling for this as well. As usual, if possible, I'm going to avoid redrawing things that I've already drawn. So we're going to take this and we're going to move it back 21 and up. Actually, let's do this because I'm going to try and center it anyways. We'll move it back 21 and up. So copy at negative 21 and up 356.5. Just to make sure it makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. Go back to the side view. We'll go up 250. Yeah, that looks about right. We'll mirror it down. Uh, what's next? Let's fasten those shelves in there. So I'm going to want to take that up and as usual just go to the center of the shelf. So we'll copy at 149 to go over and then up 147.5. That centers it there. How deep is this again? 279. So let's copy it negative 175. No, obviously not. Negative 75. Could I go over one more inch? Negative 25. Yeah, that looks good. We'll mirror it because I don't want to have to copy again. Delete the middle one. And then what we can do is we can see what the distance is from midpoint to midpoint. It's 206. Select all of those. Copy it up by 206. And that takes care of that. Uh, let's see here. Next, I should fasten these things together. So that, that should be easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror these and then I'm going to line them up just with these holes. So 41. So we'll move it back. 41. And how far to that one? 200. We'll copy over 200. And that would have got all of those. And then all we need to do to get it to the top, select them, use the mirror command. And let's save this to my desktop. Just call it drawing one. All right, so now we have a serviceable desk here. Nice little hutch there. Should be nice and solid. And there you have it. We've drawn a desk. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, how to do any of this, feel free to ask me. Just leave a, a comment down below and I'll probably get back to you right away. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. See ya!